In this tutorial, we will introduce you to a few of the trigonometric functions available in Lua's math library. Firstly, we are setting a variable x to store the value of pi divided by 4, where pi represents the mathematical constant pi, approximately equal to 3.14. The value pi divided by 4 represents an angle of 45 degrees in radians. This sets the stage for using the variable x to demonstrate various trigonometric functions like sine, cosine, and tangent at that case, which we will cover in the subsequent part of the tutorial. In Lua, math pi is not a function but a constant value representing the mathematical constant pi. It behaves like a predefined value that remains constant throughout the program execution and cannot be changed. You can directly access math pi to obtain the value of pi in your calculations without needing to define it yourself. It's a useful tool for mathematical computations involving angles, circles, and other geometric calculations. We will now use the sine function with the argument x, where x holds the value of pi divided by 4 radians. The sine function calculates the ratio of the length of the side opposite the angle to the length of the hypotenuse in a right triangle. When we apply the sine function to the angle represented by pi divided by 4, it calculates the ratio of the length of the side opposite that angle to the length of the hypotenuse in a right triangle. This ratio represents the sine of the angle pi divided by 4. We will now use the cosine function with the argument x, where x holds once again the value of pi divided by 4 radians, just like before with the sine function. The cosine function calculates the ratio of the length of the side adjacent to the angle to the length of the hypotenuse in a right triangle. When we apply the cosine function to the angle represented by pi divided by 4, it calculates the ratio of the length of the side adjacent to that angle to the length of the hypotenuse in a right triangle. This ratio represents the cosine of the angle pi divided by 4. Note. In our example with pi divided by 4 radians or 45 degrees, its complement is also pi divided by 4 radians. Therefore, when we calculate the sine and cosine of pi divided by 4 radians, we will get the same result due to their complementary relationship. We will now use the tangent function with the argument x, where x holds the value of pi divided by 4 radians, just like before with the sine and cosine functions. The tangent function calculates the ratio of the length of the side opposite the angle to the length of the side adjacent to the angle in a right triangle. When we apply the tangent function to the angle represented by pi divided by 4, it calculates the ratio of the length of the side opposite the angle pi divided by 4 to the length of the side adjacent to the angle pi divided by 4 in a right triangle. This ratio is equivalent to dividing the sine by the cosine of the angle. Since the sine and cosine of pi divided by 4 radians are equal, when we divide sine by cosine, the result is 1. Therefore, the tangent of pi divided by 4 radians is 1. Understanding the trigonometric functions sine, cosine, and tangent provides a powerful toolkit for solving various mathematical problems involving angles and triangles. By exploring their relationships and applications, we have gained insight into how these functions work and their significance in mathematics and beyond. Keep practicing and exploring to deepen your understanding of trigonometry and its applications.
While we have covered some of the most commonly used math functions until now, Lua's math library offers a wide range of mathematical functions beyond what we have learned. Once you feel comfortable with Lua, you can explore and learn about these additional math functions. They can be incredibly useful for various mathematical computations and programming tasks. Experimenting with different functions will deepen your understanding of Lua and enhance your problem-solving skills.